as we were sitting down to tea, and she was sitting there by me. The lamps were lit, and the curtains drawn, and we saw a light out on our lawn as though the sun had come to pass an idle hour upon our grass. What's that, she said, as if I'd know, and then turned on the radio to hear such news as might be found concerning stars upon the ground. It seemed that we were out of luck, because they just played some Dr. Hook. What's that? she asked me once again. Do you think perhaps we should complain? At first I thought she meant the song, then realising I was wrong, I shook my head and said, what for? When at that moment, through the door, appeared a creature bright and fair, which set a prickle every hair upon my body and my head. It filled me very soul with dread. She just smiled and licked her lips, offered it me pie and chips. The creature took a seat and dined with manners that were quite refined. And when the plate was emptied up and it had drunk a second cup of tea, the creature leaning back, politely thanked her for the snack. She simpered something quite absurd. The creature smiled at her and stirred itself and made as though to stand. So did she. She took its hand. A flash of light and they both were gone and left me hungry and alone.